the elements of art, shape. Shapes come in many different types and sizes. To make a shape, we start with a line and connect all the sides. Joining the lines together will form a shape. Some shapes have names like circle, oval, square, rectangle, triangle, heart, star, hexagon, diamond, and so many more. Our world is full of shapes and some that don't have names. Sometimes we call them abstract shapes or freeform. They have uneven lines. So we have geometric shapes, abstract shapes, free form, three dimensional forms. Some shapes are outlined and some are filled in with color. Artists use shapes to create an object you can recognize. And some artists use shapes to create an abstract picture. In an abstract picture, you don't always see objects or people. Instead, it focuses on shapes, lines, and color. This artist used only straight shapes. And this one used only round circular shapes. Some artists use mostly geometric shapes to form pictures. This style is called cubism. All artists before they begin make a plan. So the first thing you'll need to do is to gather your supplies. Once you've gathered your supplies, you have to start with an idea and make a plan. The idea can be in your head or you can draw it out on a practice paper or rough draft. Once you do that, then you begin to create. You try out your idea, you revise, you make changes, and then you finish by adding details. At the end, don't forget to share it with me. Well, by now I'm sure you figured out our lesson today is all about shapes and that's what you'll be drawing. I'd like you to focus on the cubist style. Remember the cubist style uses a lot of shapes, mostly geometric shapes. Like you see here, and here. Although both these pictures are people, they don't look realistic. Remember, that's part of the character of cubism, geometric shapes. And it does not look realistic. It's a little more abstract. Here are a few more examples. Your assignment can represent something real or something imaginary. Start out with simple shapes, drawing in pencil first. Once you've completed your outline, you can move on to adding color. Notice here the grapes are square, but by adding color, you really can tell what it is. But remember, cubism doesn't have to be real. Keep your shape simple and a little abstract. You may use markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever you have at home or whatever you like best. Have fun with it and don't forget to take a picture and send it to me. Till next time.